Some Canon systems allow you to increase the higher ISO numbers, and sometimes the lower ISO numbers as well. Normally, you'll see you've got a base number with Canons of 100 ISO, and on this particular camera, this 5D Mark II, I have a high number of 6400 ISO, and that's it. Well, if I go into the menu system and go over to the camera setting, uh, custom function settings here, I can go into exposure, go to number three, in this case on my 5D Mark II, check ISO expansion and turn it on. And then when I go back to my ISO, I suddenly see that I actually have available to me an L and a H1 and a H2. Now what are they? L's basically, if you have them, 5D Mark IIs and 5D Mark IIIs, that's 50 ISO equivalent. If you see a H above the last number that you've got, then that's double that, so that's 12,600 or 12,800. And then H2 in this case is 25,600. Uh, word of warning with these, the quality certainly on the H's will drop quite significantly, but sometimes you'll need it just to get yourself that little extra fast shutter speed to free some action. If you can get an L, as you can, as I say, with 5D Mark IIs and threes, then that is 50 ISO, although I believe it does come at the lower dynamic range. So you may get smoother images, but you may not get all the detail in the highlight areas and the shadow areas that you're looking for.